How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about the match operator in Rust. So it's like the Rust equivalent of a switch statement. It's a conditional operator where you can do different things based on a value of a variable or expression. So for example what we can do is we can define a new number called uh, number and give it a value of 2. Now we can do different things based on the value of this number. In this case it's 2, so we're going to use the match statement down here. We can type out match and then number. Inside these curly braces we can put some expressions or some things to compare against um, the number variable. For example, we can say 1, then use an equals and greater than sign, and you put your expression here. For example, print line, uh, hold on, there we go, print line, it is 1. Using a comma, we can then go down here and say 2, print line, there is 2 of them. And now you're required to use an underscore for the last one, and this will occur when the number doesn't match 1 or 2. So we can put equals greater than sign and say, it doesn't match. Alright, so now our number's uh, number 2. It's going to go through all of these, 1, 2, and none. It's going to say, okay, the number is 2, therefore execute this statement right here. Let's now execute or run this application. We'll type in cargo run into the console. Alright, and hopefully we get there is two of them, and we do. Alright, now we can also do something where we actually have multiple, um, multiple uh, things to match against in the one statement. For example, we can uh, we can do this. We can add a new one down here, and we can say uh, ten or eleven. Similar syntax. Print line. It is either ten or eleven. Now, changing this to, for example, eleven. This should execute because we're saying if it's ten or eleven. Let's now run this one. Just to confirm this works. All right, what's going on here? Ah, okay, I think we need to put yeah a comma, boom, just like that. Let's try it again. Alright, and we get it is either 10 or 11 because obviously it's 11. Alright, now we can also do something called a range. So, let's get rid of um, this one here. And then instead, inside here, put down 2, 2, 20. So any number between 2 and 20, this will execute. Let's just say it is greater than 1. Let's now put down, uh, let's say 15. 11 would work obviously, but let's just do 15 for a change. And run this one. And we get it is greater than 1. Now we can also do this with strings. For example, we'll get rid of all this right here and make this variable, let's just call this variable name equals Dominic. Alrighty. Inside here we'll put down something like, I don't know, Chris, find a nice name, mates, and we'll put down Dominic, our target uh, pattern to match, we can say, yeah, good on you, decode. And for the universal one we can just put down something like, um, don't know your name. Let's now run this one. And just to demonstrate, we should see. Okay. Ah, okay, right. Oh, yep. Name. Okay. Let's try this again. We can go down here. And we get, yeah, good on you, decode. Alright, so that is how you can use the match operator in Rust. Thank you for watching and see you later.